Hey guys, Dave from Fitness Technology Services here. So today I'm doing a video on how to find my videos. So what I've done is I've got a lot of the same questions being asked to me for about a year and a half now. So I'm, I'm going to kind of group these together a little bit and add a bunch of links to this video so you can kind of troubleshoot these things yourself and get an idea why your machine's acting the way it is and a good way to repair it. So this video is really just going to be a trail to that. Because I get a lot of times when people will ask me a specific question based off of the video, and then I got to refer them to like three or four different videos. And so then they really get a good understanding. So I'm going to try and help out a little bit and just have you have a little flow chart of your own. And the four or five, maybe even six links after this will be kind of the troubleshooting, all right? So in this in general, when you first press start and it goes three, two, one, and then it sends a signal you will slightly hear a relay click down at your motor controller. So that means everything here is working. It's sent its signal. You press start, it does three, two, one, says go, click, and then the belt starts turning. It starts turning slowly at first, but after a while it'll pick up a little speed. Just because I'm impatient, we'll speed it up a little bit. So the incline basically works. And when you troubleshoot a treadmill, Always troubleshoot it with and without weight because it tells different things. It tells you if the belt's in good shape and if the motor's in good shape. If the machine doesn't run with nobody on it, then it's got an electronics issue. There's something in the speed sensor. I'm going to provide links for that. It could be something in the motor and there could be something in the controller. But if the machine runs and only acts up when you get on it, then it's probably a deck and belt issue. Basically the same thing. If it works for somebody in your house who is lighter, and then when you get on it and it acts up, then that's basically the same thing. The belt's worn and it's putting too much friction down on it and it's just overheating the controller. And instead of blowing the controller, which it can do, it's supposed to give you the uh, terrible LS1 error. So that's the whole idea behind it. So if your machine runs with nobody on it, again, everything's fine. Everything's sending a signal. If it acts up once you get on it, usually the best thing to do is walk on the outside edges of the belt where you normally don't walk to see if that reduces the friction. Incline your machine all the way up. Sometimes that helps reduce the friction. Just to give you an idea that really the trouble component with most treadmills really is a worn walk belt or maybe just not a well maintenance walk belt. Either way, it puts a lot of load on the machine and makes it overheat. So really what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put a bunch of links to this. And I, I got a bunch of questions here. I'm looking at about seven or eight questions. So I'm going to put seven or eight links after this. And then you can kind of troubleshoot it. And then when you contact me, you pretty much know what you need really without me. So I'm trying to, I guess, get rid of myself, so to speak. And I also want to uh, introduce my new website. I just put out a new website, now, uh, www.fitnesspartspro. So if you get a chance, take a look at it. Give me some feedback. Tell me what you think about it. If you like it, if you don't like it, if it's hard to use, I'm working on it. So it's kind of a work in pro progress kind of thing. But um, eventually I'll get there and I'm going to add some more simple things. I forgot to do like belt adjustments. And it's really small, minor things on the beginning of it. I went right to the core of the matter. But I'm going to go back through and start over for you experienced guys. Eh, just skip through me. All right. Thanks a lot. It's really nice seeing everybody again. I hope everybody is being safe. I hope everybody is being healthy. Take the best care of yourself that you possibly can. Thanks a lot.